Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. I know a few of you have been asking me to do glam decor and it has finally come to that time of year that I thought I have a little sparkle in me and I can put together a little DIY that will go with my home decor. It can be used all year round but I thought it would kind of go with my Christmas themed stuff. So I filmed the DIYs for you, I put them together. I'd love to hear which ones you guys are probably going to make, create, transform, or do a version of. I love hearing or sh seeing what you guys are creating. You can share them on my Facebook group or page. You can send them to me or tag me on Instagram. I always love seeing what you guys are doing as well. It inspires me and I always love um, knowing that a tutorial is helpful. So until the next video, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this process and I look forward to seeing you very soon. Bye for now. I've purchased two of the 8x10 silver frames from the Dollar Tree and these are what's going to be used for the first DIY. I'm removing the internal parts of the picture frame. I'm only going to be working with the outer part of the frame and the glass pane. So I'm going to even remove all the little pegs that secure the cardboard in place. All of that stuff I want removed because I want it just to be a nice clean look. So for this next step, you're going to line E6000 on the internal part of the frame so that you can drop the glass panel right back onto the E6000 in a quick, swift motion. You don't want to smear E6000 all over the glass. It's very kind of hard to take off once it does smear. And then you're going to fill it in with some of your favorite gems. If you have stone, like little stones or beads or pearls, I have these little diamond type um, gems are from the Dollarama however you can also find a lot of beads and nice filler material at this time of year um, especially little gems and stones and stuff like that like pretend ones of course and that they're light um, and I'm filling them with pearls from the Dollar Tree just a variety of things you can put little beads um, for making necklaces all sorts of stuff in here as filler now what you want to do is you want to gl glue the glass panel um, to one of the frames and then as well to the other frame because now what happens is they're going to come together So now you just want to put a nice even line or bead of E6000 all around the inner part there of the frame And you're just going to flip it over and adhere it to the opposite one. Now I'm doing a little dab of, e of hot glue on each corner here just because I find that that keeps things from kind of sliding away or moving away. Um, hot glue is not something that stays permanently, the 6000 wheel. However, it just helps keep things um, in place while the 6000 dries. So here you're just gonna line them up nicely make sure that the frame is completely in line and you're going to actually make a tray out of this it's going to be so pretty and so glam so now i'm taking some book rings because i wanted some handles on the side and i'm just going to show you how i'm going to fix them on you want to use the little key ring part that connects as a little stand this is the only way i kind of made it able to stand like this was using those little bottom parts here and this way now you overlap them one in front of the other kind of creating like a ring effect and now you're going to take E6000 and all the connecting points that make with the frame that's where you're going to glue. So here you'll see that I use a combination of hot glue and E6000 glue and the reason I use E6000 is to adhere it permanently however it takes about 24 hours to cure and hot glue combined with the E6000 will fix it to the frame and leave it in position so it doesn't slide or move around however hot glue alone wouldn't have the durability it will just kind of peel away from the frame um, and I don't want it to fall apart so I use a little combination and that always helps when I'm creating projects like these be sure to put glue in the connecting points that the rings make contact with the frame and also with one another, this way everything stays nice and bonded together.
So I wanted to have a really sparkly type of bowl and this was inspired actually by a Pier 1 ad that I'd seen a while back. They had this beautiful bowl that quite, was quite similar to this Dollar Tree one. Uh, however, it was all glittery on the outside. So I thought I'm going to take the little salt and pepper shaker from the Dollar Tree and some of the glitter packets and I'm going to mix silver and iridescent whites just to lighten up so it's not so silvery if that makes any sense i'm just going to add all of these colors in here into the little shaker and i'm going to use this actually as my applicate application device because glitter can be quite messy i normally do a mod podge and glitter mix and then i apply that onto whatever i'm working with it could be a canvas or a pillow or something like that or material or fabric however for this i really wanted it to have a nice sparkle effect I didn't want it to be I'm not sure like more matted I didn't want it to be matted I want it to be really glistening so this is why I'm doing it this way so I found this beautiful clear bowl at the Dollar Tree and I absolutely love that it had all these intricate details because I thought it would tie in the glam theme together. And what you want to do is apply Mod Podge in sections. I found it easier this way because the Mod Podge will dry on you. So apply a nice even layer of Mod Podge, get it into all those little grooves and then apply with your salt or pepper shaker, apply the glitter generously on top of the Mod Podge so that you get that really nice finish of a glistening glittery type of bowl. You'll actually find that you'll get quite a bit of fallout when you're shaking the glitter and I wanted to save it. I always try to save my glitter, embossing powders, all of those things by putting just simply a white piece of paper or scrap paper underneath my work surface and then whatever falls off at least you can then collect it on the little paper and put it right back into your little container it's just a little tip if you want to save your product so i thought the bowl would look cuter if it was on a stand so i'm using one of the little candle holders from the dollar tree i'm gonna base coat it with mod podge completely cover it and then do the same application of glitter all around the entire little candle holder Once it's dry, the Mod Podge will dry, the glitter will dry, you'll be able to see if there's any little spots that you've missed. If that's the case, feel free to just reapply some Mod Podge in those areas or the entire bowl if you want to do it, and then apply some glitter again, and that will fill in any of those little voids you may have missed. So in order to prevent glitter follow, I normally use hairspray to seal the glitter onto the object however i had some of this glittered hairspray from the dollar tree that that, that i thought would match perfectly to this glam decor it kind of has like a neutral glittery color of maybe champagne silver however um you can use also any spray paint clear protective coat hair a regular hairspray or this glitter hairspray from the dollar tree and this one was the most cost effective and it also had a dual purpose because it has glitter already built into it You know what, I decided to use my regular hairspray just to give it an extra adhesive here. I do not like glitter fallout. I like shiny things, but I just don't like glitter everywhere. So here I am spraying, make sure your room is ventilated or that you're in a good space to do this with because the last thing is you breathe in and all these hairspray fumes. But yeah, just give it a nice even coat and you'll have a nice finished product. Now what you wanna do is adhere the base to the bowl, which is the candle holder to the actual bowl. And you can use an, a fix all adhesive from the Dollar Tree or E6000 glue to do this. So I'm applying a generous amount of E6000 glue to the very tip of the candle holder and then I'm mixing it with hot glue so that this will bond together and then hold in position overnight. I tip the actual candle holder onto the bowl so that I can see exactly where I want it. You want to make sure it's nice and straight and aligned so that when you do flip it the other way, the bowl is centered on the base and it will cure overnight. So then the next day you can flip it back on its bottom. And now you see the beautiful 
glitter on it it just has such a nice sparkle with the light i'm so happy with the way it turned out and it's all nice and fixed together so it's not coming apart and i'm just going to fill it with some lindor chocolates and display this for christmas out on the dessert table i hope you guys enjoyed this the tray with the little glam pieces and the little bowl they just go so nicely together as well if you want it to be just a decorative side piece on your coffee table or even on a sideboard I had a lot of fun creating these two glam DIYs. I hope you enjoyed them and look forward to making something like this for your home decor. Thank you so very much for watching and until the next video, bye for now.